Hi, and welcome to I1 Delta E. I1 Delta E is a little utility that will allow you to measure spot colors. You will not be able to measure anything unless you have the hardware to do it. Um, the hardware being either the X-Rite I1 Pro or the X-Rite I1 Pro 2, the current version. Now, um, to show you what it does, I will share my screen with you. So. This is my El Capitan startup screen, and if I go to Launchpad, I have I1 Delta E installed. I downloaded it from the App Store, and it will give me a single window. I'll put it on the center somewhere. Come up. There we go. And it says it's not calibrated. Um, whenever you want to do measurements with an I1 Pro, you always need to calibrate it first. If you don't have an i1, if, so for instance, if I would simulate that by taking out the connector of my i1 Pro, and if I try to calibrate, then I would obviously get an error because there is no device. Same thing happens when you have another piece of software hooked up to your i1 Pro because it cannot talk to two software packages at once. So let me plug it back in. And if I then hit calibrate, it will actually measure the white reference point and calibrate itself. So now it says it's calibrated. So next to it, we have a button for white reference. There are two basic standards in uh, color uh, measurements and, and the entire graphics industry, which is D50 and D65. It's the color temperature. It's the color whites, uh, how blue or yellow it is. The lower value gives you more yellow light and the higher value gives you more blue light. I won't go into that much detail. For now, we'll stick to D50. So what we can do now is actually take our i1 Pro and use it to actually measure any color on anything and compare it to another color, which could be two printed samples or an original, which we wanted to simulate, and then something we printed to see how big the difference is. So you don't have to argue on how close the colors are. You can simply just measure and get the exact information. So to show you what it does, I've taken this little print of my uh, color checker, uh, slightly larger than the color checker passport, but has the same colors on it. And what we'll do is we'll compare the printed one to the original one and see what the difference is. So we've already calibrated the device, so we'll measure, for instance, the top right one, which is a cyan color. So, as you can see, it just measured the first color, and I will measure the second color from the original. Now, it gives you a representation of the difference. This is not exact, because it's very hard to do an exact uh, display of any LAB color on a monitor, because your monitor doesn't have LAB space, but RGB, mostly sRGB or something similar. So what we've done here is to indicate you the difference is we do show you that these colors are not exactly the same. You can see that this one is slightly darker than that one. You can also tell by the L value, which is lower than that one. And the higher L value gives you a lighter color. It's also off a little bit, not a lot, but in total it's off by 3.1 according to the mostly used uh, standard CIE 94 standard. So what else do we have on screen? We have a chart showing the two spot colors that we just measured. If I zoom in, you can see it better. You see those colors are in this range, and you see those little dots here. They are equal to those colors. So they're fairly close, and they are within, well within, the sRGB range. I can switch those on and off. If I want to compare the colors I measured to a color standard like sRGB or Adobe RGB, then you can tell uh, how close they are and uh, it's just a little graphic indicator just to show you how they're comparing. Now um, you can do these measurements on anything so I could also take uh, for instance the white of my paper and compare that to the white of my desk and well it's correct because my white of my paper is actually brighter than my desk you, probably won't be able to see that on the video, but uh, it has a difference of 11.6. So it takes away the um, argument 
you could have about is this color correct or not and how big is the difference. Uh, in proofing for instance there are different standards for colors and for instance a basic color should not be different than uh, delta E of 3 or 5 or uh, 9 at the utmost in particular colors. So any color difference that's larger than that would be considered not correct as a print or a, as a reproduction. So this tool will just quickly allow you to do color measurements and um, give you some good information uh, that's very easy to explain to customers that there is a color difference and how big the color difference is. Uh, obviously um, this is not the only software we produce. We have many uh, tools available and you are welcome to check them out in the App Store or on callplaza.nl. Thank you for watching and I hope you find this useful. Bye.